uh, in this problem I'm going to use Hess's law to calculate delta H formation uh, given the delta H combustion. Uh, the example goes as calculate delta H formation of propane. Uh, once you have combustion information of propane, combustion of carbon solid, combustion of hydrogen gas. Uh, I'm going to make a thermochemical cycle. Uh, so just to give a diagram as what goes where. So I'm going to make propane from its elements in their natural sta or standard state. So you have three carbon solid plus four hydrogen gas. This by definition is delta H formation. And we like to find out what's the value when we have uh, combustion information. Then I'm going to combust uh, the reactants one by one. So I add oxygen oxygen to carbon to give three CO2 complete combustion gas I'm also going to add oxygen to hydrogen to give you H2O 4H2O liquid uh, 4 oxygen and 6 so I need total of 5 oxygen I'll put it here then if you do the same uh, to your product since you have the same number of elements you need exactly the same amount of oxygen and you will produce the same products 3CO2 and 4H2O. Now let's just uh, see what are these arrows. This arrow here is delta H combustion of propane C3H8 and uh, this one in red this side is 3 delta H combustion of carbon because you have coefficient of 3 plus 4 delta H combustion of H2. Now what this diagram is trying to represent is when you follow the arrow uh, this is one pathway this is one route that comes to this product so let it be known as route number one and this is the second one that comes to exactly the same product. And according to us, these two roots should be equal in value. So I'm going to say root number one is equal to root number two. Then after that becomes algebra and, and us respecting the coefficient. So for root number one, I have delta H formation and delta H combustion of propane. So delta H formation of propane, C3H8, uh, plus delta H combustion of propane should equal root number one, which is simply uh, three times delta H combustion of carbon and four times delta H combustion of hydrogen. So three delta H combustion of carbon plus 4 times delta H combustion of hydrogen. Now in order to solve for delta H I'm going to take my combustion to the other side of equality. So delta H formation is simply equal to 3 times delta H combustion of carbon plus 4 delta H combustion of hydrogen minus delta H combustion of propane. And if you uh, plug in your values, you are going to get uh, negative one 103 kilojoules per mole. Now for those who like to memorize, uh, there, there could be an overall equation and say delta H formation of a reaction or uh, rather than that let's just say delta H of a reaction if you use combustion information delta H reaction is simply sum of delta H combustion of reactants 
minus sum of delta H combustion of products. So this is application of Hess's law to calculate delta H formation of a reaction once you have combustion information.